Friday and welcome back to Dynamics Unplugged and another edition of our series Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain Management Dynamics A to Z. Today we are back with the letter Q. Q is for quality associations. I navigate to the inventory management module and we look at either our periodic setup, we can see lots of Q letters. Or we go to our setup section and we have our quality management or quality control setups. Underneath quality control is where we find our quality associations. Quality associations allow us to set up rules to automatically trigger quality orders. When I got my start in an early version of Dynamics AX, we only had the ability to generate quarantine orders, and that was always associated with the items item model group. Now with quality orders and a more robust feature set, we can control this with quality associations. There's different reference types you can have quality associations set up for. Inventory, I don't really know why Microsoft even includes the option. It does not work. Uh, you're recommended not to set up even Microsoft documentation references not using inventory. Then you have sales. You could actually create quality associations for different sales processes like picking and packing slip. You have purchase generating quality orders automatically to do inspection or separation of materials as they are coming in on purchase orders. And those could happen at time of registration or receipt production orders. This would be generating quality orders based off of completing production. Route operation, so rather than at production, but in process production, things happening at specific tasks or assembly steps or manufacturing steps in the production process. And then finally, co-product production as well. You can do it with quarantine. I would say it's not as common to generate quality orders from quarantine. We'll focus today on the two probably most common examples you'll see quality associations used in Dynamics, which are purchase and production. Once you have your reference type selected when setting up a quality association, you then set your item code. This is very similar to other structures or configurations that you have in dynamics and the fact that you can have a table or a record based rule, meaning you tie it to an individual item. You can have a group based rule where you're assigning it to a group of items or records, and then you can have all. So this rule would apply to all uh, items. It can apply to only a given site. And then you could even go as far as account selection. So when it comes to purchase, for example, and we start to filter down whether I'm doing an item or an item group or all items, I can also say I want to filter this down at specific vendors or vendor groups because there might be new vendors that we want to automatically inspect if we're not as familiar with their quality, or we might have vendors that make specialized goods that are more prone to having quality issues, and we wanna set up rules for those types of items and vendors. If I don't set an account code of table or group, this would apply to all vendors and the item M0008. When we have our conditions for our accounts and our items as well as the reference type we then have the process what is actually triggering the quality order is it the posting of a receipts list is it the posting of a registration or is it the posting of the product receipt show info would enable an info log to display that at the time those transactions occur it would tell you that the referenced quality order has been created for your quality order process, you have the ability to block events that happen after the event that triggered the quality order. So in this example, if I'm triggering a quality order 
upon posting a product receipt packing slip for this item, do I want to block invoicing until that quality order has been passed? I can additionally say I want to force a quarantine order generation upon validation or failure of the order. So if an item does not pass inspection, do I want to put it into quarantine? Then the bottom section is my specifications. What am I actually capturing in the quality order? I can have a test group and item sampling that controls what the worker is actually signing off. Are they recording some sort of result, a measurement, a weight, or are they simply doing a pass or fail and effectivity dates around that? For example, if I click in to my item sampling here, that's associated with my quality association. This is the rule that says what inventory essentially is going to be put onto the quality order as it's generated, as well as how much. So my 1% full blocking, it's based on an order, not shipment or load. So any items received on a specific order, it's a percent based sampling it's not based on a fixed quantity or license plate it's a percent of the quantity received one percent so one percent essentially it's to be inspected on the quality percent of the receipt amount but there's full blocking which means the entire quantity would be blocked during inspection if i had a purchase order line of 100 units that was received i'd only be inspecting one unit 1% on the quality order, but the entire quantity would be blocked. You can also have further settings that segregate how many quality orders are going to be generated or what they're going to be generated for. So per updated quantity would allow you to have a new quality order every time you receive a quantity. The purchase order line might be for a thousand, but if you receive 50, you get a quality order for 50. You receive another 50, you get another quality order 50, and so on. You can then control if they break count by the item or how many license plates, if you want to segregate them out by warehouse status, location, and license plate, and even batch or serial. Do you reserve? to those level of dimensions on the quality association, or do you just apply it to uh, a more aggregate level like the warehouse? With production, you can see here my event type is reported as finished. So this would be generating inspection after I complete that item into production. I would say more commonly I see is the in-process type inspections. These are quality orders that are being generated as route operations are created or completed. So for this particular example, I have a route operation for all items that if work happens on resource group 1110, then a quality association is generated. It is not blocking them from ending the production order report as finished, but it is being generated. And that might be because that machine often causes quality issues, or it might even be a quality step that you put in your production route to account for the labor of inspections you do in process. And that's why you then have a quality association to trigger and do the pass or fail of the inventory itself. And that's today's edition of Dynamics 365, Dynamics A to Z. Today we had the letter Q for quality associations and we'll see you next week.